Joining me now on Telecom TV from Helsinki is Jana Koistinen, who is director of the 5G program at Telia Finland. Jana, why is 5G so important to Telia Finland? Yes, we live in a very wireless market here in Finland. And the, uh, in general, the whole world is, is turning wireless. And we see 5G as a kind of foundation layer uh, in, in, this, in this world, in the digitalization journey that we are, we are actually part of. That foundation layer is, is also serving the, the other uh, businesses of, of Telia, the content as, as a distribution channel, and ICT as, as a, as a uh, complementary uh, service layer as well. It is also a, a fact that our customers here, in, especially the industrial customers, are very keen on, on exploring the possibilities of new technologies in their own businesses. And I feel like, like it's almost our duty to, to offer them a possibility to try out what the 5G has to offer to them in the very early phase already. In starting your 5G journey, what challenges did you face? We started off like three years ago now, and, and uh, we realized in the very early phase that, that 5G is on its way to become the, the uh, major technology. But it was a very early days. And, uh, and uh, so we needed to decide that whether we uh, uh, keep on waiting the next release that then eventually someday will, will uh, deliver us uh, the promised world of 5G or do we focus on what the technology can do right now and what we can do uh, not tomorrow but today. And that decision that we decided to, together with Nokia to go and take this route that we, we utilize and we exploit the potential uh, of the technology at hand gave us a huge amount of mental energy to focus on, on that. And that, that has been a, a huge advantage I see on our journey that we've been able to focus on use cases that we can deliver today um, given an example the eSports tournament in the shopping mall or already two years ago. Uh, the the uh, device that today's uh, size of, an, uh, of a phone was like a fridge at the time. Uh, but then again, we, we uh, found a way how to utilize that as part of the, the, the uh, eSports tournament, which consists of, of tens of computers already. So, so it, it served the purpose per perfectly. Why did you choose Nokia as your partner? We have had a long and fruitful relationship with Nokia already for years. And therefore, we felt that the idea is the right thing to do to trust the same partner also in, in, the, in the beginning of the 5G. And what's your opinion of Nokia's 5G technology? We've now worked with Nokia on 5G for, for years already. And the, the, uh, on the way, we have got a very good open uh, dialogue about the technology. And, and as, as I said, we've focused on uh, things that we can deliver today. Uh, what are the possibilities at hand? Um, all the time, uh, the technology has therefore um, delivered on expectations, and um, and um, uh, the next releases that we've agreed that that we, we seek for, uh, they've always improved the performance of, of the network, and I co expect that to continue. And there's there's no reason uh, uh, to expect otherwise. How would you describe your experience of rolling out your 5G network with Nokia, and how is the network performing? We've started the uh, network rollout now uh, two months ago. Um, in every step on the way, uh, Nokia has delivered as, as expected. Um, the amount of base stations, the, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, features that we've been activating on the way, uh, all the time, in every step, the network is improving its performance. And, uh, and uh, the first customers, the first uh, feedback we've got from the field is very positive on, on that. So, so uh, I, I see we are, we are very, very well on the track. Thinking about how to monetize 5G, what use cases are you exploring? Now we are in the very early days of 5G and, and, and we have to realize that. And uh, At the moment, today we see three tracks that are, that are driving 5G. And first, first of all, there is this uh, normal general evolution of mobiles, uh, which is say like turning from 3G to 4G and, and 5G eventually, that, that continues. No surprises seen in that front, uh, and that, that progresses steadily. Secondly, we look very much forward 
to, to enable uh, what can be described as, as a fixed wireless access, I uh, home and, and, and office broadband connections delivered by wireless technologies. Uh, that seems to be, especially here in Finland, where, where, where the, the, uh, this, is a, this is a wireless nation. I mean, um, there seems to be a good traction uh, to that. And we look forward uh, that front uh, very much. Thirdly, there is a uh, digitalization of industries. And then this takes us to 5G being, being used as a platform uh, in, in manufacturing processes, for example. And, uh, and um, this is where we look, look for a new business opportunities very much. And do you think there are any barriers to success? I would al almost like, like to say that the, the, uh, the only barriers are in, in, in our own minds. Mm -hmm. uh, once we get past, past them, the, the, uh, the, the world is open. Um, the, the, uh, talking, talking with customers, um, uh, there's a lot of excitement, there's a lot of expectations as well. Uh, so, so there's a hard work to be done in order to fulfill those expectations. But, but definitely there is, there is more opportunities than, than threats in, in, this, in this track. So looking forward, how does Nokia fit into your future strategy? We've had a very fruitful, uh, long uh, relationship with Nokia. And, and uh, I believe in the future, the technologies become even more complex. The solutions based on, on, on 5G will, be, will become even more complex. Therefore, it is essential to have a trusted partner that can help you on this, on this journey. So how was it working with Nokia? And the way of working with Nokia has been very uh, mind-opening. It's, it's been always open. Uh, honest dialogue that we've had, um, overcome, together overcoming the challenges has been the, the, uh, the uh, strength of, of our relationship all the time. And that, that, I, that I hope that in the, in the future we can even, even build more on, on that. Finland was at the forefront of the cellular evolution. Now with 5G, is the country still a pioneer in wireless? I see Finland uh, as a pioneer in the future as well. Um, however, we've learned to demand more from, from uh, uh, service providers. This means that it's not only the technology, but it's also the benefits that the technology can bring. So, so, uh, so we, we have to go all the way uh, uh, with, uh, with our customers. Um, the times when the pure technology was so exciting uh, seems to be a bit over, but uh, yeah, this, this also makes us a new opportunity to, to become a, a uh, more valuable to our customers. Has Telia Finland launched any new services specifically for 5G? Here in Helsinki, together with our customer ABB and partner Nokia, we have uh, launched a quality assurance system in, in ABB's manufacturing plant. This system actually monitors the assembly of a critical units in, in, in the production line and gives the, the uh, workers a, a traffic lights green when, when everything is proceeding fine and red when there is something to fix. So the workers get at, at real time, they, they get feedback on how, how the, the work pro progresses and the, the, uh, each and every unit that has been assembled gets the, the quality assured on the way. And how is the 5G network performing? I'm very happy with the, with the progress and results we've, we've gained. Um, I don't know whether it's a European record, but the, the, we just got two gigabits per second in live network in, in, in one of our sites here. So it's, it's performing in that sense very, very well. Jana, thank you for joining us on Telecom TV. Well, thank you.